outer space, the final frontier, and the ultimate conspiracy theory, Flat Earth. Don't groan, I can hear you. This online community claims that 2,000 years of scientific consensus that we live on a globe is a lie, and that the Earth is flat. Why do they think this, and how can they prove it? I wanted answers, so I spoke to one of the leaders of the New Zealand Flat Earth movement, Adrian Morrison. So what is the Flat Earth? Flat Earth means that you do not believe that we live on a spinning giant ball of water, that it's actually physically impossible. Do you believe 100% that Flat Earth is true? Absolutely 100%. What you're sitting on here, if true, is one of the greatest breakthroughs yes. in scientific history. It's not a breakthrough, it's... it's what well, it is, because most people don't believe it. No, it's it. just realising that because you're brainwashed. People are losing their whole lives over this for speaking out. Are you in danger for doing speaking out on this show? I could possibly be. Do you have a gun? No, crossbow is the best. Why is crossbow the best? Because it's silent. That's the most terrifying shit I've ever heard in my life. Be terrified. You know, being I, I terrified be. is part of your human nature. But what that doesn't bother me because the truth is more important than my life. It's just such a big conspiracy that I can't... It's not a conspiracy theory at all. It's fact. I, yeah, okay, 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 okay. You're saying it's fact and you say you've got proof. Where is the proof? If you could see the whole Earth, which you can't because of atmospheric conditions Well, NASA claims clouds, they've got photos of They've got nothing else but Photoshop, CGI and paintings. But do you have Photoshop and CGI and paintings? I feel like you guys don't even have that. Am I doing a bad job of the interview or am I saying anything you don't want to hear? No. Okay, okay, okay stop good. Stop overthinking it. Oh, sorry. Well, okay, just let me be me. Okay, okay, I'll let you be you. Where do you get this confidence from? Because you... Because we've got the evidence and the proof and everything. But the other side says they've got the evidence and the proof as well. Well, we're challenging them to find the curve. They're challenging you to find the flat. No, it's our question. They're the ones that says they're going into space. I don't... I, this I'm... doesn't make sense and it's not right that people are being lied to and deceived just because they're evil and rich. But who is deceiving us? Who is lying to us? Follow the money right back. How do I See, follow the money? See, you've got to realise that $52 million a day is giving to these liars for Photoshop paintings and CGI. Well, no, Well, there's children satellite. starving in Africa. There's no curvature, that's what we're saying. It's been tested and it's been done. Am I an idiot? No. I'm, I'm living in the, the No, darkness. you are not an idiot. Instead of rabbiting hole, how about I take you outside right now and absolutely prove to you that the moon is not a spherical solid ball? I'm excited. Let's do it. Excited? Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, shit. Oh, do we have the sun? Damn. damn. What, what do you mean, damn? It's behind the clouds. Ah. Sometimes you see the whole moon. You're saying that no one can answer this question because I'm sure a scientist could quickly answer that question. I'm still questioning the moon. We've got a. Are guy you a scientist? Coming. Yes. I have a four year degree in flat earth education. From where? From myself. Oh, uh, you gave it to yourself? Look up every day in the sky. There's certain days where the sun and the moon will be very close together. Just don't look at the sun because that will hurt your eyes. But look at the moon. Well, that's another thing they tell us it's crap. We photosynthesise through our eyes. There's nothing wrong with looking at the sun. I dare you to look at the sun right now. I'm looking at the sun. No, don't do it, don't do it, don't. I just don't know if I can trust you. How do I trust you and not the people who are telling, indoctrinating me? Well, why don't you believe in me as a human being? I want to be believed in. I wanted to believe in Adrian, but due to clouds, I wasn't convinced. So I agreed to come to Fexpo, a Flat Earth conference she was organising, featuring the star of the recent Netflix Flat Earth documentary, Mark Sargent. This was the biggest Flat Earth Expo in New Zealand history. Are you here for the Flat Earth convention? Hello, yeah, no. No, shit no. No, field hockey, mate. That's where it's at. Oh, where's the Flat Earthers? I'd gone to the wrong room. I'd ended up at the Flat Turf Expo. But two doors down, I was opened up to a world of Flat Earth. I don't know what's crazier, your Flat Earth t-shirt or your Warriors shorts. Probably the Warriors <laughs> shorts, to be honest. It's a wild ride supporting the Warriors. <laughs> so what are we on right now? Earth. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. And what is it? What shape is it? Flat with a dome over top with the sun, moon, and stars at the top. Yeah. See, my cup of tea tells me it's flat because when I drink my cup of tea, the water goes back to where it should 
and the cup of tea. It's round like this, right? It's, it's sort of like a... It's like a pizza. And so when you sail around the world, you're going into the salami, then you take a little turn to the chicken, and you carry on around a bit further to different... You know what I mean? And the scriptures say... It's... The scriptures! You've got to go back to the, the book. Oh, the fuck, here we see? go. And the book I'm talking about is the Bible. Oh, it's Jesus it. Christ, all right? We can't be going back to the Bible, can we, for, like, well, 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 our scientific reasoning? Well, I'm not, say I'm not saying the Bible's scientific accurate. I'm saying I take the Bible as literal truth. That sounds bad. But I... What sort, what sort of religion are you? Well, I kind of got asked to leave. Yeah, so basically I'm on my own. I'm forming my own sect now. <laughs> oh, awesome. All right. <laughs> because I'm going to let you take my handouts, OK? OK. All right, well, pass so, your hand out. No, no, I, they're all in my bag. and I'm. Like, Could we get one now or afterwards? Well, or? as I said, they're in my bag. And, and if I got to get them out of your you, bag. Well, I can, but I, there's, there's more than one thing in there. The more people I spoke to, the more sceptical and frustrated I became. It was unprofessional, but when the time came for my big interview with Mark Sargent, I just didn't give a fuck anymore. You're one of the biggest dick swingers in the flat earth game. <laughs> so, no offence. No, that's right. And when I say no offence, it means you can't get offended by what I say next. I won't, I won't. This is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. And your whole life is a lie. Well, I've heard that before. I became a flat earther because I tried to disprove it or debunk it. But do you not think the reason you can't debunk it is because you're a, a fuckwit? No. No. I'm a pretty clever problem solver. How do you prove the earth is flat? By not finding the curve. So flat earth is not something you can prove, it's just something... It's just you can disprove the round globe. Exa exactly. It, I, That's I, bad. I, I, hey, that sounds hey, shoddy. Hey, hey, hey. I, I don't make up these rules. It's lawyers' rules. The stars and the planets are just pretty, pretty little lights. Sun and the moon are just bigger lights. Like, what, is it an LED display or something? Uh, what is it? Probably a little better than that. OK, look, this is ridiculous. OK, just sorry, <laughs> sorry. I don't mean to belittle <laughs> no, no, your no, views. it's OK. But fuck your views. This can't even exist on its own. It needs a solar system, a sun, and a galaxy around that, a universe around that. No one needs a fucking LED screen. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Ask some questions. So you and a... Netflix documentary. Yep. And how'd that go? It went pretty well. Uh, we shot... Bad. <laughs> it went bad. No, okay. I'm trying to put a positive spin on this. It turned out our biggest recruiting tool to date. In fact, a third of the 18 to 24s were on board with this. And they... So dumb fucks. Uh, call it what you want. People who don't know shit. Well, there you go. Mark had one good point. It didn't matter what I said. The more negative publicity they got, the more the Flat Earth movement was growing. I had to stop them. I had to prove them wrong. But first, I had to thank Adrian for her lovely hospitality. I don't know if I agree with everything you've said, Adrian. Fair enough. But I'm surprised that you put on such a good festival. So yes, well done. Thank you, Guy. We're having a dinner tonight. We're going to celebrate. I'm doing a few songs okay. with the pianist. We could collaborate on something. We could do like a debate rappy thing. Do one now. Oh, do one now. I've been told since I was a child that the earth is round. I agree with the science and I love all the rules. And if you don't know that, you don't deserve to be in school. Ooh. But the earth is flat, you see the horizon line. 360 degrees, just fine. And you can see that you can't... The moon. Oh, I had it there. Hold on, see. Um... Is that the end? No. Oh. I had to have something rhyming with Earth. Finish it. Bring it home strong. Bring it home strong. Oh. Well, you do something and I'll try and okay, you do okay, another okay, thing. Okay. Not too loud. I'm coming at you with a round globe. And if you do not love that, then you are a snob. To believe in science is a load of bull. To believe in that, you're just a lying fool. Learn and fill in my mind with knowledge. Yeah, I love guns. Guns? You don't I even can't know. do this anymore. Did I win then? Yeah, you probably did. <laughs> I'd spent the day at a Flat Earth Expo and I was losing my mind. There was only one way to prove that the Earth was a globe. I had to do an experiment. But when I couldn't organise an actual scientist at short notice, I went on the background talent website and hired an actor to play a scientist. Now, what is your knowledge of science? Just general knowledge, I guess. Give me an example of a piece of information that you have. Frogs can leap up to 2.5 metres. Why would anyone need that information? I think it's a good to know. Maybe. I was kind of hoping for more like science-based knowledge. Mm. So it says on your profile that you can do a Canadian accent as well? Yeah. So, um, come on guys, we're going to go down to the rink to play some pond hockey. Come on guys, let's go to the pond to play some ping-pongies. <laughs> Is no, that good for you? No pond. <laughs> yeah. So that's your Canadian accent? Yeah. And it says here you can do a British accent as well? Yeah. Give me some of your British accent then, please. Harry Potter. <laughs> That's really good stuff, man. That's really good stuff. Sunset, Pihar Beach, 
With the help of Adrian, we formed one of the least qualified research groups that the world had ever seen. I've been studying the flat earth now for about two months and I'm not convinced. But everyone's told me to do my own research and today I'm doing my own research. You proud of me? Yes, I think so and I'm happy that you've invited me out. Ruman, would you like to uh, elaborate what we're doing? Uh, yes, so basically what we're doing is uh, we are watching the sun as it goes down. And then before it goes down, we go and go up okay, and we can see it. It is going and it's okay, going you, and you can see it. Ruman, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, sorry about this. The basic idea of the experiment is that when the sun goes below the horizon, we're going to move to a higher vantage point. And when we're up there, we should be able to see the sun again, which should hopefully prove the curvature of the Earth or the flatness of the Earth. Well, we'll just have to see what happens. All we had to do was wait. We were standing on the precipice of the biggest breakthrough in scientific history. Flat Earth expert Adrian, scientific impersonator Ruman, and Year 11 physics not achieved Guy Williams. This was the moment the world had been waiting for. But moments before sunset, everything changed. The sun has disappeared behind the clouds. Yes. That ruins our experiment. Yes, it does. I feel like I'm on top of Mount Everest. I guess we'll never know. We were devastated. There was nothing left to say. At least we can be sure that the frog can jump 2.5 meters high. If I learned anything about science over my time with Adrian, it was that sometimes clouds get in the way. Were they seated by NASA to stop us discovering the truth? I guess we'll never know. Guy Williams, New Zealand Today.